Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about the Lava framework in PHP and how we're working with the request and the response. I will uh, show how we can sending based on this uh, input field we have here and how we can send it for the code and then how we can handle it and return it back so we can see what the name is and about the name is sending or not. I will show you how we can make a very quick API uh, where we can send in the raw data and how we can send it in, in JSON and of course how we can redirect it to another page if you want that. I think uh, that's what we're going to work with for now so let's go in and start with that and uh, before we are starting I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel you can press the link below in the right corner and uh, all the code will be found on my github profile of course and then you can just download the code and, and play around with it. So that's everything for now and I just say happy coding. The first thing we're gonna do here is, is make, make a name. So let's just call it your name and uh, this is a crazy, creating a post. I think it will be better to rename this and say post title. title and just call it title here and uh, we want it down here and say title and content that's what we're gonna do here and uh, then below here we can say you can just say HR and uh, say if uh, title is found then we expect about it's the post is created and then we just say here yeah, and say title title And then we have content should be content. And now we are ready to go back for the, the web here and working with that. We need to go in down for the post route. And before that, we need to add up here and say use dominate. Uh, HTTP request then we have access to the request and copy that word and going down here and say request so we send it inside and for the request we can just say the title get oops get title and we do the same with the content here, content. So that's how it should work, uh, pretty easy. But we cannot say input because it's an input one. If you just say get, that's meaning you can get both the query and the title. I think that's the correct way. It's, uh, it's, it's working here, say first post title and then test content create the post and then we have it here if we go back then it's everything is it's working as it should be we can just make a little bit the uh, code cl clean up we can just put it up here and say post title just so the code is look more smooth and the post content and going inside here. So the next step we're gonna do it's going back for the post here, and then we basically want to working with the page numbers and showing what page you want. And for that we can say page number page, and then we just say page here. 
and we need to go back for the web and go to just say page and equal to one. I know we need a little bit more than that, so let's go over the post and see what's happening here. We have a, a problem page because we are on the post and I have setting on the post create, so that's wrong. We need to go inside here. Reload it and see on the page one. I'll just build a little bit content around it. And the idea here is when we go for the browser and I want to go for go for page uh, 10, 10 here, then it should be 10 downs below here. And the way you can do this is uh, say page is equal to copy the request down below here. And then you just say the query and say page. And I just put this page inside and put it down here. And if I reload here, it will be uh, page 10, but see what happening if I remove it. It's not so good, so it's empty because it's null. So what, what we can do here, it's just uh, put this and say this else. We want to page one. So if the page just doesn't uh, define, then we want to return the page one because we always want the page number. So that's what we want to do here, page one. So let's going back for the editor, and uh, this time I think it's uh, it's time to make the API. So make the API. We can just do this, and I'll just say that I API uh, routes. So we can put it down here, and the return should be gone for now. And I just remove this, and we create the API here. And post. So the purpose here is when we uh, use a slash API and then we slash uh, post, then we want to respond back uh, the posters. And I think it could be funny to make everything down inside here. And uh, then just say format is equal to query. format and then we need the format else oops not false you might just say raw JSON. Yeah I think JSON would be the best format to output if if it's um, not great. And uh, the first we're gonna do now is just to test it. We want to say uh, API post working so let's go up here and say API post it's working and I can get format is raw and that's still working so that's perfect let's go back and then we just want to add the response up here when we include the response then we have directly access for this downs below here return response and the response should be um, the raw content And uh, comma 200, and then we want to add the header. Content type, and we want to define it as uh, text plain. And then we're good to go. And I'll just do this. If format is equal to 
plane. Let's save it and let's go in up here and say plane and a approach working. Then now it's plane and it could be called Bob Raw, but I think the name plane is much beautier. The next is should be the uh, else if that's meaning if the format is JSON. Just say this one. Response here. Jason inside the data and uh, content should be this one. And we don't want to need we don't need a header anymore because it's adding it itself. Let's go back for the browser and test. I type JSON here, then we got it in, in a JSON format, so now we can support playing and we can support the API. The next step we, we're gonna do is if something is it's going wrong, then let's redirect to the home page so we don't get so we don't get any missing. So that's what we're gonna do. Else. And for that we need the route. Routing and then we need the redirect. Redirect. And when we include that, we get directly access to redirect. And we want to redirect for the route. And the route should be home. So if I'm gonna remove the format, I type something that doesn't exist, it should be sending me to the home. And this doesn't that because I need to return it, of course. And now I'm on the home page again. So that's how we can work with the request and response based on the post data and from the input fields or by the query and how you can just sending the raw output out or you can send the, the JSON output or you can redirect to the home page if something is going wrong. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the thing in the right corner below. And of course, don't forget to click uh, like and share buttons. All the code will be on the GitHub. You can find the link below in the description, of course. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time.